Let's talk LERP, or linear interpolation. Basically, we're taking two vectors and interpolating them, uh, interpolating between them linearly. What does that mean? That seems very complex. Uh, it's actually not that bad. The um, formula, if I can get my pen here, the formula for LERP is 1 minus beta times vector a plus beta times vector uh, vector b. All right. Now notice that beta beta is just a scalar. I know it's some Greek scary letter, but it's really just a scalar. All right. And so one minus the scalar is a scalar, and we're taking the scalar times it by a vector, which we know is legal to do. We did that over in the vector basics tab. Then beta, again, it's a scalar, so I can take a scalar and times that by b, which is another vector. And then I have two vectors, and I can add them. All right, so looking at all these vectors I have here and all these sliders, let me explain what's going on here. The vector on the left is a, and the vector on the right is b. So these blue vectors are the two vectors I'm trying to interpolate between. All right, in fact, just to make it interesting, let's, uh, let's bring the y up. Notice here I have the x and the y for a right here, and this is the x and the y for b right here. So let's bring, let's just bring that y up a little higher on this one, and uh, let's bring the y down here, and we'll stretch out the x a little bit, make it a little longer. All right, but I still have my two a and b vectors, right? This is vector a and vector b. And I want to interpolate between the two, meaning if I start here at vector a, the point a, or th this point here on the, the tip of the arrow, if you would, I want to walk or move down this line, or actually red vector, down to the tip of B, vector B. Okay? So to linearly interpolate, is basically I'm taking B here, subtract A, and that gives me this red vector, which I haven't placed in standard position. I actually placed it from the tip of A to the tip of B. I want to linearly interpolate down this line here between the two vectors. All right, so so uh, A, let me uh, actually erase A here because I want, I want to make a correlation with the colors we have here. I'm going to choose, let's do blue. Okay, so A is one blue vector and, and then B is our other blue vector. All right, here we go, B. Okay. And beta is simply a scalar between 0 and 1. 0. 0 0.1. 0 0.2. 0 0.3. All right? Uh, that's all beta is. And once we hit 1, we know we're at the end. So this slider down here, this bottom slider, represents beta. All right? So if I'm at 0, that means I've started at the beginning of the line that I'm interpolating on, this red line, this red vector. All right? But if I'm at 1 or a point one, then I'm a tenth of the way down this red vector. All right? If I'm at one, then I'm all the way at the end of the red vector. I'm just trying to interpolate, move, it's just a portion, beta is a decimal portion, or percentage if you would, a decimal percentage of where I want to be on this red vector. So I can actually show you, let me grab my mouse tool here. Notice I have beta right now at point six, but as I slide beta here, notice the pink vector, just watch the tip of the pink vector or green vector, either one there, there. Watch it walk up and down the line. I am interpolating a distance on that line that I'm trying to be. Okay, and then notice this value down here. It goes from 0 to 1. All right, let me bring it all the way up. Notice as we get closer and closer to 1. Right now I'm at point 0.9, so I am point 0.9 done with, with my journey here. I'm, I've made it 9 tenths of my journey down this vector. One more tenth and I'm going to end up at the end here. So let me slide it up to nine five one. Oh look, we're at the end. Okay. So what's that got to do with this formula? Well, let's let's back this guy back up to 0 0.6. So right now the tip of the pink vector is 0.6 of the way down our path. We're trying to interpolate between this vector and this vector. All right. Well, notice what I did here. Let me uh, I don't know. Let's get let's get uh, yellow. We'll get yellow here. I'm gonna. Oh, yellow doesn't show up that well. Let's let's go with red. This actually, you know what? Forgive me, forgive me for being picky about my colors. Do I have a green? I do have a green. Okay. This first term. 
kind of a darker green. This first term represents this arrow right here, or this vector. Sorry, I keep saying arrow. It's really a vector, even though they are arrows. And, right? This this first term represents this arrow, one minus beta. In this case, it's one minus 0 0.6. So one minus 0 0.6 would give us 0 0.4 times vector a. All right, so remember, a is the big long blue one here. If I take 0.4 times it by vector a, that's only going to take me a fourth of the way, or 0.4, sorry, almost halfway, 0.4 of the way up a. a is the blue vector. So this green vector, this green vector right here, is 0.4 of this blue vector a. In fact, let me, let me label these. I'm going to say this blue vector is a. And this vector down here is b. Okay, so so this first term, 1 minus b beta, or 0.4, this is 0.4 of the vector a. All right? Well, guess what this other green vector I have right here is? It is our second term, beta minus b. Well, what's beta? Again, beta is 0.6. So this green vector is 0.6 times, times b, vector b. Right now, I could have put this green vector on top of this one, but I didn't. I put it over here because because I wanted to show the addition. Remember the addition when we add two vectors? It's like putting the tail of the second vector on the tip of the first. So our first vector is 0.4 times a. The second vector is 0.6 times b. You add the two, and where do you end up? You end up 0.6 of the way down. Our our uh, what we're interpolating here, okay? Now I'm showing this, I, I added this pink vector because the pink vector is the result of adding this vector to this vector. I just want to show that lerp, lerp returns a vector. All right? If you look at the equation for that function of lerp, it takes two vectors, a scalar beta, and it returns another vector. Well, the vector it's returning is the pink vector. So when all is said, is said and done, you can forget about a, you can forget about b, you can forget about the 1 minus b and the beta time, or 1 minus beta times b, a, and the beta times b, you can forget about all that. You can even forget about this line. Okay, in the end, Lerp just says, well, you're right here at the tip of this pink guy. Okay? So so that's that's what's returned is I mean, do I have pink? Do I have pink? I don't have pink. I have red. Alright. The whole equation the whole equation returns this pink vector. Alright, but don't make don't make it any harder than it is. We're just Interpolating, wow, that's a lot of syllables just to say, hey, we're going to walk a percentage of a way down this red vector. And the way we do it is just combination of, of the two input vectors.